And the worst part about it is that, you know, I, I don't like the character at all. I don't really... I'm fine with the setting, but it was starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Uh, with the pirate setting or the sailing setting. Oh, it's not even a pirate setting, it's more of, oh, I'm an assassin and turn my back on the pirates because I fight for a better cause, Edward. That's how Ottawale is. I hate Ottawale so much. I didn't like Alt I wasn't a fan of Altair. Because he, he was kind of a dick, and then he, at the end of the game, he was kind of like less of a dick, but he was still kind of a dick. But Ottawale, it's just, he s never stopped talking. And when he does stop talking, he exits the plot entirely. But that was the thing with um, <coughs> the advertisement of AC4. They played up Adewale as if he was going to be this big plot character. Like, oh, here's your right-hand man. Uh, he's going to uh, be in the plot so much. But the only time he shows up is so he can scold you for being a pirate. You're a pirate. My god. It, it becomes even worse when... Uh, it becomes even worse when you get to the assassin. When uh, you get to the assassin, Ottawale is like, The assassin's fight for, for a better cause. You should be like this, Edward. Oh my god, Ottawale, shut the fuck up. Such an annoying character. I really didn't like him. So that's Freedom Cry. Um, the second thing about Freedom Cry is that um, the time setting. Is a little bit different. I mean, what they talk about is a little bit different besides pirates and everything. You know, the great swashbuckling pirates. You know, that kind of thing. It's a little bit different from that. It's basically about slavery, since Ottawale was originally a slave. And I understand that. You know, the North Atlantic uh, slave trade uh, was huge since uh, the Americas were discovered. Every 30 seconds, I clocked it. Actually, that's a lie. I didn't clock it, but it was an internal clock, so that counts. Um, every 30 seconds, it reminded you that it was about slaves. Every 30 seconds, there'd be a little bit... Si like, you know how in AC4 or anything else you, like, uh... In AC4, you would catch the courier, or in AC2, right here, you would catch the board of messenger. You know, it's that kind of side mission where it just shows up on the map, that kind of thing. Um... Yeah, every 30 seconds, a slave is either being sold off, getting chased down, or it's being transported. Every 30 seconds. There is one point in... because, uh... <clears throat> there is one point where I was doing a mission, and the side mission log was filled up to the bottom because of all the slave uh, side missions that were going on. Everything you do has to do with slaves. And, you know, I, <sighs> I mean, the, get, the same could be said for anything else, but really? I mean, I thought the time for slaves would be during the American Revolution. I think that would have been a, a perfect time for this slave kind of thing. But in the middle of the Pirate Age? Not really. I mean, the North Atlantic uh, slave trade was big, but when it comes to other stuff that you could talk about when it comes to slavery, um, th that's not a lot. But it it's just so fucking annoying how it does. It references slavery and everything. It's like, oh, it's bad. We know it's bad. Keep killing people. <laughs> just shut up. Like, with every other assassin, they go through this emotional journey and everything. Ottawale, nah. He's just, he keeps being an arrogant little bitch. God, I hate Ottawale so fucking much. <laughs> if that was the only thing... I think I would have given, given Freedom Cry a pass, because still, I, um... Because it's still, it's alright. I mean, I can deal with a bad, annoying main character like I did with Metal Gear Rising. I don't really, I'm not a really big fan of Ryan either. Um... But that's actually not the only problem with Freedom Cry. It's glitched. Very, very, very glitched. Uh, what I mean by that is that, um, yeah, it's glitch. It's basically, all right, here's what happened. Basically, you're investigating for, uh, uh, for a friendly, uh, to find out why a certain slave trader is here. It's all about slaves. Slave trader. That guy's a slave trader. That's a scientist for slave stuff. That's what, this, Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry, a slave game about slaves. That's, that's the best description for that. Man, that anyway, but the game really is pretty glitched. Um, 
there comes this one point where you're trying to find information on this one scientist, and uh, you have to do five separate investigations. Now, all you have to do is complete three of them, but to do the side activities, uh, you have to do all five of them and, uh, and do them without killing anyone. Now, that seems like a very easy thing. Unfortunately, there's... Let me, uh, let me back up. There's a certain ty type of enemy that will instantly red up on you no matter what your notoriety is. And that's... I think... Yeah, the Jailers. They're called the Jailers. Um, man, I stabbed the fuck out of that guy. Um, anyway, the Jailers are basically... They look at you like you're an escaped slave. Come here, come here, come here. I just want to talk to you. All right, you're a slave again. Okay, come with me. Yeah, you're gonna lick some balls now. Um, he doesn't say that. Uh... <laughs> But anyway, their their guards that basically flip on flip out on you uh, whenever you get near them, and I'm completely fine with a with an enemy like that because that kind of enemy works in Assassin's Creed, so you have to work accordingly. You have to plan your uh, your objective accordingly. However, when they introduce the jailer as being able to flip out on you, it doesn't explain the other guards that flip out on you for literally no reason whatsoever. And don't be, and don't give me that. Oh, it's because it was back then the slave stuff and racial, uh, racial tensions. It wasn't that. It was most certainly a glitch, because some guards would completely ignore me. But these kind of guards, right in the middle of a mission, right in the middle of a fucking mission, would just go, uh, would just be like, oh, it, oh, I'm, I'm talking to you. He's like, oh, black guy, kick his ass. It, it, that's how, that's how it happened. And. The mission system in AC4 is it's it, it's simple. Like in the mission system in every Assassin's Creed is pretty simple and everything. But there comes shit, I just screwed that up, didn't I? I just oh, guess not. Guess not. Oh, guess what, bro? Oh, you dead. Yeah, go down. Go down. Oh. Man, I was going to take a shit. Oh. Anyway, like the the mission scru mission structure. That's how you say it, ladies and gentlemen. You just gotta be careful. You gotta you gotta uh, uh, you gotta take the tongue. All right, you, you're dead, dude. I killed him from a fucking from a small place. Anyway, the mission structure in other Assassin's Creed is in other Assassin Assassins. Holy fuck, I can't talk. <laughs> in other Assassin's Creeds is very simple. Basically, um It's just a simple mission structure. That's it. Where was I going with this? I completely forgot. Oh shit. Uh hey guys, what's up? Um Yeah, you're dead. Great. <laughs> uh anyway, uh, well he just wanted to go through. Kill Rodrigo Borja without being detected. All right. Yeah, we're coming up on the final part. Man, I can't wait to finish this game. Then I'm gonna move on to Brotherhood, and I think that's a little bit longer, actually. That's when the full synchronization comes in. Oh God. Also, I forgot to mention for some reason. Um. Jesum Christum. Um. There's a lot of ums. Hey guys, what's going on? We. That's a cool set piece. Be cool if that was like a cinematic trailer, but I understand why because it's kind of a spoiler. Except for those that already know history. I thought. Oh well. I thought I, thought I was beyond, beyond this. this. What do you mean beyond this? What are you I talking was. about? You went through an army. I've waited too long. You are an army. Lost too much. <laughs> rest in peace, you piece of shit. You I hope I you rot in hell. Off. Just rest in peace. Just, just. Just uh, lay your mind to rest. Make sure you have a plentiful rest. Um, also, you're a bitch. <laughs> yeah, say more stuff, Ezio. What's the whole point of the rest in peace thing? Oh no, they're crumbling. Ezio's not crumbling, though. Also, it looks like the Papal Staff is a piece of Eden. So that's cool. It would have been revealed in one of the glyphs, uh, one of the puzzles that uh, you can scan and find out later. But... Since I didn't want to, you know, do the glyphs, because that would take fucking hours. So, yeah. So, what's going on right now? We try to assassinate Rodrigo Borja, but it did not work. So, we're going to have a little uh, liberties with the uh, 
piece of Eden, uh, the apple of Eden, rather. Um, and this is the point where I summon my shadow clone jutsu. <laughs> Fascinating. And this is the part where I get lost in my clones. Who's the real one? We gotta have a separate uh, in NBC show to find out who the real one is, and if the uh, not real ones have real purpose. All right, man, this is a five one beat down on the pope. This is the funny thing. Uh, I'm beating the shit out of the pope. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh man. It is pretty funny though. Anyway, um, how you s d s don't sweep the leg, Johnny. Come on. You can't. can't uh, my sword swing is red for some reason. That's weird. You are right to fear. Anyway, what was what was I talking about before? Something about freedom cry. Um. Well, actually, before that, this is actually the first commentary that I'm doing on the new Aver Media that I got. I've been I've been doing a whole whole lot of recording with uh, uh the Aver Media, the new Aver Media. It does not give a shit. <laughs> Like with the other, with the uh, LGP, uh, well, the Live Game Reportable, uh, I had about an hour and a half before it would start uh, uh, flinching out after I gave it some rest. Um, that was actually one thing. There was a lot of commentaries that I wanted to do, but I couldn't because the LGP was starting to fritz out. Um, but this new Aver Media does not care. <laughs> it's, I did. A, I did so many hour sessions of AC2 when I was uh, doing the Codex pages, and I did so much of uh, Titanfall recording. That recording looks fucking fantastic. Um, it really does look really good. Um, I'm impressed by this thing. It looks better than the LGP, which basically I had to go into the settings, do everything else, you know, set everything right, decided if I want to do uh, 60 FPS or not. Um, but with this new Aver Media, it goes maxed. It goes max immediately, and it's like, no problem, I got this. I mean, it's a little bit of a bitch setting up, but that's about it. But yeah, I'm actually... I have a, I actually have a little bit... I have a little remote, so all I have to do... All I did to set up this recording was uh, plug my headset in, uh, start up Audacity, and then hit, hit the remote, and then hit the record button. I didn't have to get up, you know, move my laptop and everything. It's not even going to attach the laptop. The only thing we're running on my laptop right now is the audacity. Ah, oh, man. This is, this is the good life. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was talking about with Freedom Cry. Um, Freedom Cry is quite glitchy. And there is times where, again, you're doing the investigation mission. All you have to do is three. But you can do all five to get a to get full synchronization. And you have to do it without killing anyone. So that's that, that seems pretty simple. If only it was. All right. <laughs> so remember how I told you about the jailers and uh, some guards that didn't care whether they weren't jailers or not. They wanted to get the promotion, so they decided to start work early. Um, yeah, those guys are annoying. You can't kill anyone. You can get detected. I know that you can get detected, but you can't kill anyone. And I think that applies to beating them up too, like with bare hands. Um, you break their necks sometimes, uh, too, so I think that happens, too. But anyway, um, 